Well, hello there. Welcome to my channel. I am Mike Rondo. Welcome. Uh, it's been a few days since I've done a video. Uh, no particular reason, really. But uh, tonight it is uh, pretty cold. We're going to get a snowstorm in Rhode Island. Pretty significant. I think they said the last was 9 to 12, maybe more than that. Who knows? You know, we're just going to get about a foot. 9 to 12, I think, is right where we're going to land. But anyway... Uh, it's cold in here. It's 36 degrees. I got it warmed up with the fireplace going here, and I got my propane heater hooked up. I broke down and took the propane off the off the grill and put it in here, and, and things have warmed up. Had a little trouble getting it started up and fired up. It's been a while since it's ran, so had to do that, and, uh, it's comfortable in here, to be honest. This jacket, probably a little too much in about five or ten more minutes, but anyway... Uh, tonight I'm smoking in a corncob pipe, uh, a new one I got, and I, this is, it's a church warden, but I, don't, I can't remember the name of the church warden, of course I got this at the pipe nook, uh, this came in the other day, and today I am smoking corncob pipe and a button nose, uh, I've had this before, so this is more of like a review, I haven't had this in a year, um, but we'll give it a give it see what it we'll see what it's like. I mean, I can taste the Virginias, if you will. Um. Kind of a cocoa thing going on here. Slight chocolate. Um, hmm. Now this, you got to keep in mind, this has been in this jar for about a year. And I didn't seal it. Uh, and I just... It was an autumn evening I just sealed up. I got more mason jars and stuff, so I sealed up that for a year. Uh, so that, I should have did that with this. So I don't know if that's going to have any... I get the cocoa. I like how it burns. It smokes very good. It's got a good smoke... Getting the Christmas vibes tonight. It's cold. I got the fireplace running. I got the heater running there. I'm nice and I'm toasty. I'm actually comfortable. Uh, my feet are nice and warm, and that is what matters to me the most uh, in the in the shed of solitude. Um, I know uh, Redcoats was talking about how he deals with his uh, his shed and the cold and stuff, and he's and he's right. It's the legs that where you tend to get cold and everything. The upper body, yeah, it's it's okay. Hands are a little numb, but that's okay. That was mostly from hooking up the propane to the Mr. Buddy heater here, um, which is fantastic. I recommend getting that. Uh, I, if I can remember, I'll put a link in the description to what which one I got here. Uh, in the, I got it snaked over to a large propane tank that'll last me the whole winter. Um, yeah, so. If I can get up to 40 degrees, I think that's a win in here, considering it was 26 when I came in. But yeah, this this is a... I like this better today than I did last year. I know that much. Um, we'll do a little tin note here, or jar note, if you will. And it smells really good. It smells like, I don't know if it's bright Virginias. I think it's bright Virginias. I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Is that bright? I don't know. I didn't look up the, I smell like a cocoa, a bit of vanilla, and I smell the Virginias more than anything, but it smells good. 
I like this. I like this better than Days of Yore, to be honest. Uh, and that's funny because last year, and this will be interesting with Days of Yore. Um, so last year I got this. I smoked it. I was like, all right. I don't think it was all that impressive. I don't think it was all that great. I'm like, I don't know what the hoopla was about, but okay. So I, I put it up. I only smoked it once, possibly twice. I think once. Um, and I put it in this jar. Actually, I didn't put it in the jar. I left it in the tin, and then I put it in the jar here. Um, and I got this in October of last year. And so I smoked it. I was like, all right, whatever. No big deal. So I come out here now. I'm smoking it. I'm enjoying it. I get more of the the cocoa chocolate type thing um, going on in the Virginias. I don't get like a vanilla or anything like that, but it's pleasant. It's good. I like it more now than what I remember last year. And Days of Yore just didn't do anything for me that much. Um, it was good. Don't get me wrong. It was pleasant. But I think my problem is I had Christmas cookie. Then I went to these. And Christmas cookie for my Christmas tobacco seems to be number one at the moment. That could change. There's uh, uh, Wintertime, I think it is. That Red Coats did. I would love to get my hands on that. I got to figure out how to get my hands on that if I can at some point, maybe next year. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'd recommend getting it. And you know what the beauty is? With the tobaccos, is you get them, okay, it's not lighting the world on fire for me like this one was. Put it on the shelf, forget about it, come back to it. It tastes a little better, it tastes a little better. It's it it's more pleasant, I guess. I don't know. It's weird how that happens. Maybe there's hope for the Cumberland tobacco. Uh, I doubt it, but I see some other YouTubers doing their favorite tobaccos of 2020. I've kinda got that figured out. I'm officially on vacation starting tonight. Um from work, so I got some videos planned. That'll probably be... It might be recorded this week coming up. But I won't put it out till maybe the week after, I think. But I'm, I'm actually really like... I don't know, this is really good. And this pipe smokes like a champ. I mean, you can't go wrong with a, with a corn cob, can you? I mean... And I'm digging these church wardens lately. I don't know what it is. I got another one. The one that I was going to bring out here was smaller. And I think it was the dwarf one. It could be. I don't. I can't remember what this is. And I'm too lazy to look up what the shape is or whatever. But it smokes really, really good. It's, it's awesome. I was going to. I had. I ordered one from the pipe, the pipe nook. A regular straight corn cob, standard, you know, little small bowl and everything. And I was going to do that for this. But when I was coming out here, I noticed there was a crack in the stem or the shank. Is it the shank or the stem? I don't know. But anyway, I'm sure you all murder me for that. Um, there was a little crack. And I'm like, well, I don't want to go on video and have it smoke coming out or whatever. So I'll test it out, you know, smoke it or whatever. It's a corn cob. It was like five bucks. Not the end of the world that it's broken or whatever. And I blame the uh, postal service, not not Eddie Gray there at the Pipe Nook. He does an excellent job. I love his store. Great stuff. I believe I sealed up the haunting too. I sealed that up for next year. Hmm. Lots lots of uh, the Virginias there. I get more Virginias than any kind of aromatic type stuff like uh, like the chocolate or the cocoa or whatever, the vanilla. I get more Virginias. But a pleasant, like a good, it's good. Man, this pipe is awesome. It's been funny because I haven't done the corn cobs in a while. Um, 
and I don't know really why. I mean, I've got all these other briars and stuff, and of course they're not up there anymore. I'm so used to them being up there, but uh, I haven't really done the corn cob in a while. And now I'm wishing I... Yeah, I remember they, they smoke really well. The Country Gentleman, I love that pipe. It's like, it's up there. So when I do my pipe ones, I have another video planned for my favorite pipes of 2020. That are not the 7LE 320 author pipe. That might even be the title of the uh, video. Look at this. This is good, good smoke for the room. Like, makes you think of Santa Claus, right? Well, this is kind of a Santa Claus kind of pipe, right? You know, the shape's kind of Santa Claus like. I don't know. It's pretty good. I like it. Anyway, not the greatest review because I've had this before, so it wasn't like a traditional tin note. It wasn't as exciting as a Signal Man Tony series. It was more of a uh, let's retry this and see if I like it, and I do, and I like it pretty good. I'll, I'll probably have some more probably tomorrow when it's snowing like a, a crazy out and I come out here and do a video. I don't know what the video will be on, but I'll be uh, probably smoking this or Christmas cookie. I don't know. Whatever gets me in the mood. But, uh, hey, we're almost up to 40 degrees. So that's pretty good. This combination of the heat here. I got this little heat bubble. It's nice. So, red coats or any other shedders, as he likes to call us, are out there. I recommend the Mr. Heater, uh, the Mr. Buddy, and then this heater here. I got to get this label off, though. I got I to gotta scratch that off. Nobody wants to see that. Maybe I'll get some kind of tape or something. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for tonight's video. I just wanted to come out here, enjoy the shed of solitude in a nice cozy little nook here. Getting ready for the snowstorm coming and uh, get out here and talk to you guys. Uh, actually, my friend Marissa, who has her own channel, um, and she she came down with COVID, so she hadn't done much in, in a while. Thankfully, she's okay. She's feeling better and everything, and I'm happy about that. But she was talking about how she had free time and she's just sitting here talking in front of a camera. And I laughed a lot because I'm thinking, you know, I wonder if my, just to throw out a quick question to my fellow YouTubers, talking to a, a camera like we do, like talking head videos or even vlogging or whatever, is this kind of like therapy in a way? Like just talking to the camera? It's like another friend. Like all of you are my, I consider you friends and, and we, you know, I do the video, you guys comment and stuff and. I don't know. It's just a weird experience. Uh, it's kind of funny. Just that It's kind of foolish that you're talking to a camera, but yet you feel pretty good about doing it. I don't know. It's weird. Just let me know. I'm curious what that is. Marissa, if you're watching, let me know how you feel when you, you do this. I, I, I know it kind of looks goofy doing this, but it's kind of like therapy, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough rambling for tonight. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Probably tomorrow if I don't kill myself snow blowing all the snow. But anyway... Take care, guys.